Good morning guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video over here at the Oakland Flea Market. Got here kind of early, it's around 6, 6.30 right now. I uh, just paid my entrance, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way around to see what I can find. Uh, not a lot of vendors right now, it's still pretty early, but uh, you know, I might, I might find something early. You may never know, let's see how it goes. I remember the, uh, they had like a, t uh, a series or like a show. Alright guys, so, the, the vendor didn't want me to record at his booth, which is totally fine. Uh, recording secretly right now, right over there. But, check these out. I got these both for $25 each. I'll kind of show you what much they're going for on ebay so apparently they're selling for like almost 150 sold you can kind of see like a pre-owned so for 85 you see 150 120 150 170 so you know this definitely get my money back plus profit and i looked these up and there's uh there's more than just what you see here there's a whole bunch of them in there different sizes so you can kind of see the asking prices but they are selling for that much. See? Nine little dolls for $150. Just a case is $30, the $15. So, look at that. But that's like mint. That's mint. I know I can get, I'm gonna ask $150 for everything inside. So, that's my, already my morning right now. Good thing I came early. I'm gonna go see if that jewelry guy's here. Good morning. I got here just in time? Yeah. You set up a little late today. <laughs> uh, no, I'm taking everything already. Guys. You're always taking everything. <laughs> what is that wild ass thing? Oh, that's kind of oh, cool. I didn't see this one. I, I, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't open it. I opened it. I when said. I, I asked take this one right here. It's cool. So that one's nice. It's also really small. Is it? That's like kind of all. It's cracked right there. Because it's so big. Yeah. Damn. It looks big. You think you'd wear it. I don't know. I think about this one. All my merchandise. Those are neat. I've got a couple of these already, but I'm just going to pass on this one. I've got like five of them listed. Oh, is it one of those? That yeah, I have like about five of these already. <laughs> Can I see this one? Yeah. You just put this one out? Yeah, I'm in America. In America. Yeah. There's more risk. That's nice. I think we get this one. Oh, let's see. What's this? Is this Mexican? No. No, no. no. Hall Hollands? San Angelo? 14 carat and sterling? It's pretty neat. a little petite turquoise oh. sterling oh these are super nice man the turquoise on this is really nice Interesting bolo. I like buying bolos. Oh, it's signed too. J Boyles. They're Tiffany, right? Yeah, they are. They are. Oh shoot, Man, they're Tiffany. As you can see. 18 karat. Authentic Tiffany and Co. Even the backings are marked. Yeah. How much you want for those? Ooh. Yeah, 180 for those. That's pretty nice. It's a necklace. <laughs> Super 
super nice. It's a concho belt. It's a little petite, but it's still pretty nice. And it's signed. Okay. Oh, what's this? Beautiful. Uh, I'll pass on that one. Some hand stamp sterling with the tips. Yeah. You got a lot of nice stuff today, man. Yeah. Got to go through these right after I buy them off of you. We'll see, depending on the price. <laughs> I'm gonna set all these aside. Man, I wish I knew about shoes. I know these are the Iversons, but I can never tell what's real or what's not. <laughs> Honestly, I never really got into shoes like that. Let me see how much he wants for it. Maybe I'll take a chance. I don't know. And I'll show it to somebody who knows more about shoes. Even if they're if they're trying to be fake, well then um I guess just take him back to the flea market or something. What do you guys think? You think I should take a chance on it? What What do you have on your shoes? Uh, this is uh, uh, this is forty. This okay. Is so he wants forty dollars. I mean, you know what? I'm a. I'll pay him the forty. I'll just take. I'll take a chance on it. And I'll show it to one of my uh, the shoe guys that I know who can tell the difference. Yeah, I'll take a 40. Why not? 40 bucks? Oh, okay. For, this one, for okay. the Reeboks? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the uh, answer. The Everson. The Everson's, yeah. Yes, Everson. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I like buying stuff off this vendor. He, he usually he'll bring some, some good stuff, and I've had made pretty good money off him before, so. I like paying what he's what he asks for. It's no biggie. I almost missed this. I hardly ever buy plushies, and I should get into it. Check it out. Free Willy, and it's a uh, 1997. It says right there, 1997. Free Willy with the tags. Pretty clean. Let's see how much he wants for this plush. What you got in your plush? This is five dollars. Five bucks? Okay, I'll take it. Right. I'll give you five bucks, okay, man. Much. Cool, five dollars. All right, and today's turn out to be so good. Here you go. All right. Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, it's kind of cool. Budweiser, King of Beers. ¿A qué precio tienes la, la de Budweiser? Dame $15. Team Bucks. So I like this a lot. It's gonna go to my wall. It's gonna go to, I call it the wall of vintage. ¿Quince? Hey. Ahí está. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Cool. Muchos días. Yes, for those dos? Okay. Acapella. I know this. I know this one. Ten for two. Ahí está, primo. Hey. Gracias. Gracias a ti. Where's go? Dooney and Burke. He's got the cereal. He's got the coat in the back. Ten bucks. Hey, okay. okay. Me la llevo. I'll take it. Gracias. Gracias. So this is the the squash blossom with like different uh, multi stones, black onyx, turquoise, or coral. How much did you want for this one? Oh, I want two hundred dollars, but I'll let you go for one seventy-five. One seventy-five. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So I have this uh, 
Native American tur turquoise. But I said I, I like the turquoise. It looks like it's it's cracked, but it's not. <laughs> it's really nice. So let's try to see that. How much for this one? Sixty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I have this uh, this designer bolo. The sign in the back. Uh, I don't know who the artist is yet, but um, I like stuff that's signed. It's so much easier to sell. So it says uh. J Boyles. It looks like amber ish. But I like it. I like it. How much for the bolo? 50. 50? Okay. 50 for the bolo. Okay. Got this one, guys. Check this one out. This is a statement piece right here. Imagine wearing that. Even the necklace is pretty cool. It's not signed, it's not signed sterling or anything like that, guys, but uh, I, I know it's silver. How much for this one? 200. 200? Okay. I like this one right here. It's Navajo belt. It's an, it is an older one. It's all the conchos, all sterling. It's signed too, signed from the, the artist. How much did you want for this one? 200. 200? Okay. Okay, I'll take that one for 200. Okay. I like this one. I thought it was a Mexican piece, but uh, it's not. It says Holland's San Angelo. I'm, I'm gonna put on the, on the screen how much these go, how much they asked for and R roughly how much some of them have sold for with the belt complete with the i think it's, it might be the original belt actually even if it's not uh, what's important is the actual piece 100 100 okay it's asking 100 for this one and that's perfectly fine with me i'll pay 100 bucks all day for this one here's another belt i know you guys saw this one earlier just gotta fix the belt and just put these back in snap these back in here or actually, the bell is actually missing uh, one of the studs, but I can always put this in a different belt with the tip and everything. It's pretty nice. One thing I recommend doing if you guys are buying jewelry, if you guys have a ring that is silver or a bracelet or necklace, wear it with you. You can kind of compare it to like certain other pieces just to, especially if it's not signed. You guys can kind of get the feeling of it, just, just like the feel, the the smell, the texture, just you guys can pick all that up. Uh, you know, might take months, might take years. It took me a long time actually, but uh, yeah. I really like these guys, these, these earrings. Look at the turquoise on that. It just pops. See in the sun. Good chunky turquoise. How much for the earrings? $50. $50? Okay, yeah. 50 for the earrings. That's nice little belt buckle, sign RB. How much for the, the belt buckle? Uh, 50 50 Okay. Good price. Fair, super fair price. 18 karat Tiffany & Co. Uh, stud earrings. So these, um, roughly, I've seen the market on eBay, they can probably they can sell for over $300. So most likely I'm gonna list it at 400 or best offer. He is asking 180, which is totally fair. I'm not gonna, like I, said, I don't like haggling with him because every time I buy jewelry off him, I do sell it and do make money. I like being fair with people because as a vendor myself, I, if I'm selling that for 200 bucks here, I expect to get $200 and nothing less. I'm gonna list them on eBay and you know, try to double my money. Okay, here's another nice uh, Native American cuff. It has the maker's uh, name on there. It's Mark Sterling. How much for this one? 100. 100 bucks. 100 on that piece. Check these out. These are very beautiful. It's spiny oyster and turquoise. How bold the turquoise are. Pretty bright. 
It's a pretty bright color. Ask. How much for the for the earrings? 50. 50 bucks, okay. I saw me grab earlier. Let's cross. So um, I don't know if I mentioned, sometimes jewelry might just have a hallmark. I'm gonna do some digging, do some information and see who made this piece, but just overall, just it's, I, I, like, I like how it's made. I like the, the turquoise on it too. 35. 35, okay. 35 for that one. <laughs> oh, I still have that cough, uh, hasn't gone away yet. <laughs> it's one a lot. I love buying stuff like this. It's a little, it's a petite, it's tiny, so for someone with a small wrist, it's really perfect for them. How much for this one? Mm, $30. $30, okay. Perfect. Alright guys, these are the last two. Look where I'm at right now. $14.55. Each, $25 each. $25 each? $1,505. Do you want to do a flat $1,500? Mm -hmm. That's cool? Yeah. Okay, flat $1,500. I want to show the money out here. Flea market. One, two, three, four, five, six. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Thank, Thank, you. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What a lot of you guys are thinking, damn, this guy spends a lot of money at the flea market. At the flea market. Well, look at it this way. I look at it as an investment. And for the most part, I feel comfortable uh spending that much on that type of jewelry i mean if you guys go to my ebay and go to my sold uh list sold sold listings and just scroll down you guys are going to see all the jewelry that i've sold the past uh the past month thank you guys for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe i have a lot of work to do so i better get going because i have a lot of listings i gotta do soon thanks again guys have a good one